Okay, see, you ain't seeing her, right? She's not liking being held right now. She's whining, so. This is what crybabies get to get picked up because they're babies. <laughs> Happy August. We have a big day today. Not you, me. This has already gone through this process, so I don't know what exactly is going on, but it's driving me crazy. Um, I'm currently trying to upload my... Not even upload, export my July vlog, and it's it, it's giving me some weird error. I tried to upload it last night, or export it five times, and nothing happened, so... <sighs> People are saying maybe with them software updates, so... We'll see, um, try to be on top of things and uploads and it never works out, I guess. Even when I try, this happens, so we'll see. Suicide Squad was great, or the Suicide Squad. So I would love to make that difference because there's no way the original one was good. This one was really good. I am going to film my video today. I'm waiting for my tripod to arrive. I bought a new tripod because the old one is a disaster. Um, so I'm waiting for that and uh, to be off work. I have an hour and 30 minutes, like an hour and a half, hour and 34, so. Oh, I'm ready to be done, so I can't do this. Mm. Do some leaf making and cornucopias. Halloween wreath, which I always think these are so cool. scented candle and look at this really cool vase also everything is 30% off because they always have sales but this is gonna look so cool it's a um, just fall candle holder with trees and stuff it's gonna look cool um, I got some canvases some paint brushes here and some acrylic paints not the best acrylics you can get obviously so I'm gonna spend $50 on acrylic set just want to mess around and then I did other than 
also in the fall collection did get this little pumpkin with the A on it. Um, it has a hole in it. I don't know if... I don't think it lights up or anything. It's just there. So um, I'm just going to put a little fall collection out. Kind of, I want to have... Basically, I'll let you know. I want to have, in like, my... F for a filming area, possibly have, like, fall stuff set up everywhere. So maybe probably over here, because um, at this point I don't think I'm gonna hang up my TV. But I'm gonna have some sort of little fall set up here. You guys are big yelling. So I started a project of trying to clean my closet um, and donate stuff. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell that I have um, since all the piles of stuff. Um, what we're going to do? Uh, I did some stuff today, so. I pulled out some stuff to donate, so we're gonna do that. The books are going in as well. Um, there is some stuff in these boxes I need to go through. As well, just reorganize some stuff on top. Some of this stuff is not mine. Um, if the big box that says Audrey is mine, so I will need to go through that, um, as well as some family photos and stuff like that. But there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm not going to be keeping. Um, I just wanna get this kind of all squared away because I do plan to move before the end of this year. So I want this to all be put away. Everything that I need, I will take with me and then everything that I don't, um, I will not. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that. And then, yeah, this is how I've been spending my, uh, my lunch break today. I don't know where Casey is. I like this a lot. Checkers are included with this. That's pretty cool. I think this is such a cool side table. Honestly, Kirkland's online, their stuff is so much better. Like their Halloween and fall stuff. My issue with like the Halloween and fall stuff right now is I am planning to move. Um, so theoretically, you're gonna wanna be getting decor that's for year round and Halloween stuff is more so like, it's nice to look at. I can get a few things here and there, but I don't wanna like be going overboard. Um, that being said, I still bought some crap at Sephora that I didn't need, but it is what it is. So we're gonna go into, I'm gonna see if Spirit Halloween's open and then Hallmark and then maybe Bed Bath Beyond. I'll see. Cheapest I've ever seen pillows. 25 for two. That's a good deal. <laughs> Ray Dunn makes pillows. Look at all these fall pillows. I don't have a, oh, it's a Ray Dunn pillow. I don't have a couch.
taking stuff out? You want to open it up? Oh. Wow. Look at that. Oh, it's a big toy. Yeah. Is that what you're interested in? You got all stuff in there. Oh, yeah. Twinkle. Oh, yeah. And then this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. This is for Trilla. Oh, Jesus. She's taking it away. I mean, how would I open it? Yes, yeah, like a Halloween toys. Don't judge me! How about I open it up, okay? Alright, so other than the cat toys, I also got this five below. Um, it's Harley Quincher, which is pretty cool. Um, kind of shocked, genuinely. Um, this is for Philip, the my dog, or my brother's dog. He squeaks. Um, <clears throat> exciting at CVS, some ibuprofen, some toothpaste, because, good lord, this, I've been missing this, my teeth not looking great. I got some, uh, whitening gel, if we need that. Very exciting, some organic pads. Um, at, um, Sephora, I got this small Yves Saint Laurent, uh, Libra perfume. It's very, like, uh, what are they, they, spicy is the, is the category they put it in. It smells very good. Um, two things from Rare Beauty. I got a blush in Grateful. I got a concealer brush. I love their packaging. I love just everything about Rare Beauty, to be honest. Rare Beauty. And then this lip liner, which is the nudist. It's actually a replacement because I finished up one of these liners, which is kind of crazy. Um, oh, there's that. Yes, these are ornaments. No judgment here. I don't want them to sell out. I'm not planning to celebrate Christmas in August. That's definitely not a thing. Um, but I felt like some of these would definitely sell off. So um, this is this place. Show yourself. It, this song makes me so emotional. I listen to it and try to sing along. Every time I try to sing along to it, I just heard sobbing. Um, Scooby, of course, love Scooby, and then uh, Lock, Shock, and Barrel are my absolute favorites from Nightmare Before Christmas, and they sing Kidnap the Sandy Claws, so I have to get the little, this one uses that new power cord thing, so I'll have to buy one of those at a later time, but I'm still debating if I want the other Nightmare Before Christmas ones, they're just so, these types are so expensive compared to like the regular push-to-play ones, so I just, I don't know, I have a lot on my ornament wish list though so definitely more to come i'm gonna organize these put these in my closet because i have a whole multiple bins of ornaments um and i want to go through those too to just get rid of some of those okay are you inspecting the shirt the shirt's not for you your stuff's over here you, you want this one a crinkle that's actually a dog toy do dogs like crinkles? Because Casey loves the crinkles, but it's like kind of big. Um, and then this one's supposed to be for dental health, so she needs help there. I debated vlogging this, and I probably won't be vlogging any of my remaining days, but um, yeah, I tested positive for COVID <laughs> yesterday. So um, symptom onset was actually on Tuesday. I thought I had a sinus infection. I'm vaccinated. Um, my stepmom had a negative test, so I figured I was all good to go. No, I'm not. So I'm in here until Friday. Um, <clears throat> well, Friday I can walk around. I feel mostly fine. I am vaccinated, as I said, with the Pfizer, both doses uh, since April. So my symptoms aren't bad. I feel like, like I said, I felt like I had a sinus infection. And to be honest, it was like less severe than most sinus infections that I have. It's just like a little, it's like a little bit of head and ear pressure and a cough. This is not by any means a notice to say that COVID is not severe because it is. Again, <laughs> rule of three, I'm vaccinated. The vaccines are supposed to make, if you get it, it's not as severe. You'd have little to no symptoms. It would feel like a cold, which is exactly what this is. So get vaccinated because you can still pass it to people. It's the same way if you're vaccinated or unvaccinated, you can still pass it to people. So it's better to be safe and feel like you're having a cold than 
to end up in the ICU. So, just a little FYI, I'm extremely bored. I worked out. I did a dance workout. Um, and I just took a shower. I am like <laughs> going through my to-do list because I'm off work for the next two days. I was approved to be off the whole week, but I'm bored as all get out. So I took off the first two days of this week. So that's what's going on. Um, so after Thursday, which with this video, it's a collection of clips. So I will let you know that the clip directly preceding this is not necessarily from when I was sick and I always mask in public places and don't go within six feet of people because I genuinely just don't want to be close to random strangers anyway. So just like to let you know, because I didn't want this to be like, I'm doing all these, th all these things and like, and then I have COVID. Um, it's spaced out. So, and then the next video after this will be once I am all in the all clear. And that's the boost. Right. Oh my God. I'm gonna need to get some of these. Make a green one. So this is going to be my temporary little Halloween filming corner. So I bought this at Michael's. It is a pillow, an eye pillow. And then we have some glowing eye lights here over all of this. And I did put the other pumpkin up there. So yeah, this is what the filming area is gonna look like for a little bit till I move. I just got back from seeing Free Guy. Okay, well, my skin is oily. Um, stop. Thanks. Um, I didn't really vlog, but I, oh, I did when I went to Spirit Halloween, because Spirit Halloween was open. But Bed Bath & Beyond and um, World Market, actually. Surprisingly, I was looking for some stuff, just kind of like inspiration since um, <laughs> I'm moving again. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, and this, this year has been something. Um, so I'm not, I'm pretty much just getting like looking at stuff. Um, for inspiration but I did have to go ahead and grab two things so here we go um, this like happy home collage collection so all seven of these prints are in here I'm not a big fan of the blue one or the one in the middle but at least with five it was like 20 bucks so you get some art prints and I'll probably frame those and then I bought these super cute coasters there's a set of four in there and they're all the same, but my apartment's going to look psychedelic and boho and stuff like that, so I'm very excited about that. And then I also decided to finally get a silicone baking mat, because it was eight bucks, so I was like, it's kind of one of the cheaper ones I've found, so I'm good with that, and you know, coupons and stuff. I just want to say, if you're vegan or lactose intolerant, that this is a good alternative to creamer. I've been trying to find one that's really good without a Trader Joe's near me, so this is really good. So, this is just oat milk, but it's extra creamy. So, a lot of our creamer is just full of sugar. Okay, first I got Pet Cemetery because I like the movies. Also, I love church. Um, it's my king, even though he's an evil cat. And 
Okay, and then I got The Road to Woodstock. So I've read so much stuff on Woodstock, but I still need more because I'm obsessed. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on in here. Um, I bought Daisy Jones and the Six because everybody's talking about it and it seems like the type of thing I would like. Um, this big boy over here, um, the Fear Street books by R.L. Stein, so it's movie. And then these were buy one, get one free, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, um, which was adapted into a play. I didn't realize it was a novel. I thought it was a play. And then I've never heard of this, but it was buy one, get one 50% off and it's called the Thursday Murder Club. And it has a little foxy on it. I like the foxy. I think that's it. I had four other books that I decided to put back because I spent literally $90. So um, those will be for a later time. Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to do a quick <clears throat> haul from Hollywood Studios. I went yesterday. You can check out my vlog in the cards here, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the things that I bought. So first, oh boy. First off, I bought this hat here. It says Wicked Spooky and it has the little skull with the ears, which I think is great. Um, I would obviously have to tighten this hat a little bit, but this is what it looks like on here. <clears throat> I also got, let me see if I can just prop this up on my bed. Oh, perfect. I also got this t-shirt looked very retro so I had to go ahead and purchase that I got a magic band with the Nightmare Before Christmas characters including Oogie Boogie Boys Lock Shock and Barrel my absolute favorites from this movie and Oogie Boogie himself I'm trying to look into to see if I can program my ticket to this and then later if I get an annual pass. I got two pins here. One is Elsa and her horse because I love Casey's family. Um, and this Star Wars one that has a Lilith cat and then also this little guy here from uh, uh, Jabba's Palace. So, cool. And last but not least, I got this little ornament because I love collecting Starbucks cup ornaments, but the back has Hollywood Studios on it. So I'm assuming they have them for all the parts, which would be really, really cool to go ahead and grab. So that was my little mini haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I also got this reusable bag to use at the parks. So. I'll make sure to bring that for Epcot and see what we will get there a week from Monday. Yeah. Bye. I got the new, what is it called? Apple Crisp Macchiato. I don't love it. You have to constantly stir because there's some syrup in it, but the syrup doesn't sit on the top like the caramel syrup does. Um, the flavoring is mostly from the caramel syrup. You know what it tastes like? like a candied apple. That's what it tastes like. People were saying apple pie filling and I was thinking of like the apple pie spices. No, it tastes like a candied apple, but also a macchiato. So like a caramel macchiato, but instead of the caramel syrup, it's just apple, candied apple syrup. I don't love it, I'm gonna be honest. Everyone was raving about it. I think it's too hyped up. The caramel or the pumpkin cold brew is, is better. This I found the pillows I was looking for at Target in the dollar spot. So there's this one, this one, and this one. Y'all, I'm so excited. These are gonna be for my couch for my new apartment when I uh, move. <laughs> but I bought them early. <laughs> Thank you.